Bam. Oh. I did press left trigger, left the crouch. I don't know how. Use a zip line to slide it down into areas. That was pretty bad, actually. If I do say so myself. Above average, I guess. Oh snap! That is saying, because that makes absolutely no sense. I should have asked. Snap, snap. If the decisions are solely reactive or passive, then you operate at a disadvantage. So sometimes you create events. For political equilibrium, yes, at times. At other times, to give America an economic advantage. I thought we were mostly mission driven. We are. But even you will see the effect. The mission of is money. So he is. He's a janitor. I understand. That must be a full time task and an important one. Agreed. Even Westbrook would say I hold the most important post in the facility. So, in short, yes, I clean up after others. And if necessary, I'm the one tasked with shutting this program down. Shutting it down? Turning off the lights, putting up the chairs, locking the door. And killing everyone involved. 
ARPA protocol is compromised, any evidence of the program must be deleted. But what happens to the... I mean, is there an escape route? Or what happens? What do you mean, Agent? Be specific. I dislike dancing around an issue if one exists. What happens to the people? Expendable. Yep. Are you serious? You are serious. You sound like you've done this before. If I have, it's classified. No comment. Or perhaps no. You don't. Are we done here, Agent? I think I've answered all your questions. Some of them, yeah. The others can wait. He's not. He's not joking. He's. Uh, I'm not gonna do weapons. Screw him. Screw him. Um, yeah, he's not one of the joke. <laughs> Let's go talk to Morgan Freeman. But yeah, he's killed people. from Parker on the number side as usual but he actually took the time to write a sentence he did uh, what was the sentence you may have been right about this one Westridge for Parker that's high praise assuming you don't let us down Mike looks like that's it for the physical evaluation now for the hard part tell me why you're here not everyone gets chosen for this line of work but you volunteer thrills y'all I guess I'm an adrenaline junkie. And the women, of course. I'm not sure we need a cowboy. You need someone, or I wouldn't be here. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. I'm ready, and I'm tired of my questions getting answered by more questions. Welcome to our world, Mike. My job is to help you cut through questions <laughs> and get an answer. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good. Because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude, that's what we're going to discuss now. I'm not sure I understand. Is there something wrong with how I deal with people? You're not a people person, Mike. You're not, you're not here because you're a people person. It's because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you and your reputation for it. What do I care what others think? You should. Having a bad or good rep with someone can actually gain you different benefits. Sometimes you want to piss someone off so they can't think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places. And your only backup is going to be who you're talking to on your headset. How you treat them is going to have an effect on the success. This is what it and this is what interests me about this game, like the talking. The dialogue trees and shit. This is a long way of telling me that I should just act the way I want. I didn't realize this was an acting game. No, again, there are no bad choices, just results. Over time folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, which can affect their reaction. Well, maybe they should take the time to know the real me. There's no real you. Time something no one seems to be able to spare, especially during the conversation. Although that can be a plus. What, like stalling for time? The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So if you need to get your second win before a fight, making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? It can. So if you need to get to the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. I wouldn't think any less of you. You seem to have the basics down. 
Why wouldn't I just shoot someone instead of talking to them? Because the shooting in this game sucks. Shoot first. Still approaching someone to talk to them can allow you to get the drop on them if you get close enough to strike. Use it if you have to, but the conversation isn't going your way. Assume it. Am I going to seduce him? Or what? Like if I wanted to seduce someone? I mean, not like I have trouble with that. He looks like a beard. So they have bad legs to the leg. So push comes to shove, it can give you an edge in combat. Ball rolling. The more vulnerable they'll be. So when the guns come out, the dossier can come into play. Have you read mine? Several times. You have dossiers on everyone here? Yep, if you can dig them up. You might learn a few things. Sometimes reading a dossier will give you more options when dealing with others. Facts to bring up to shake secrets loose. What about you? You should already know what makes me happy, Mike. What pisses me off. At what point can I start access? I make them happy and I piss them, them off. After meeting a target or hearing their name referenced by someone else, you should have a target ID. Then hop onto the database and start doing your homework. You can usually unlock their basic information at that point. Let's start with a simple one Al Samad. That should be familiar to you. The terrorist group. Yes, you can research groups as well as people. It doesn't carry the same benefits, but it can provide useful intel in the field. That's a bad picture of the CIA the black dude up there. Information. Sometimes people will have information on someone that can unlock a brand new thread in your computer search. Okay, so I've suffered through your interrogation. I know how to give one if need be. Am I ready or not? We'll see. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good. Cause I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. <laughs> Why can't we just go in there first? Not to throw a loading screen. And texture poppins. Or focus shit. Jacob's Ladder. Specs and shadiness of this whole thing aside, how did she he get his hands on Jacob's Ladder? What is Jacob's Ladder? It sounds really familiar. You ready for the battle, agent? Agent, agent, agent. Oh, crack down. Alright, so, 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 so. Let's see, what we got. Uh, t Desert Spear. Alright, so quick search on Google shows that um well, how can my medical wait my medical bills or what I've caused 
Oh, but uh, Jacob's Ladder is the ladder to heaven, is what Google says. So that's, I don't know why that sounded familiar, but it's the ladder to heaven. Why are you mad? Why are you mad, Mike? So never? Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location, but we have three leads. An arms dealer, Najra, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid, and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Do we have anything else on Najra? Nothing more than what's in his dossier. If you can manage to make any contacts and find out more, we welcome it. We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plan a listening device, how is he? Is using to move through Saudi Arabia. How is he hearing me? The coordinates of an Al-Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. Any backup, sir? Just Darcy on the comm. Any backup? <laughs> This TV has no power. Oh, yeah, it does. There's no cable, though. trouble that Obama's gonna get all over your ass and oh man because he likes to kick some ass expert It says yes. Alright, I have 11 points. Guess. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna do. Move on scene, though. It can only be triggered if no. Da, da, da. And. Plus 25 health, the strike combo. Uh -huh. Um, let's see. I think that's gonna be it for. Fuck, look at that. For uh, this time, this is actually about where I got on the 360 version. I think I may have gotten just a little bit farther. Anything new here? Nope, it doesn't look like it. He looks really weird without a beard. Um. So everything, almost everything after this is going to be blind. So look forward to that. What's in here? 
I bet those guns are there, but I can't use them. Upgrade slots plus one, sound dampening minus one, endurance plus 15. Plus damage minus accuracy. Oh, sh oh, it's a shotgun, that's why. I don't care about that. I want. My, my pistol. Everything is down, down except for damage. Silencer. Ooh. Throw silencer on that bitch. Sounds like a good good thing to do. Have a first aid first aid kit on you at all times. Alright, so let's stare at this TV. It's not turned on because I'm pretty sure we'll get a talking to by someone. But as we get a close up on Mr. Michael Thornton. We are gonna Oh, we're gonna end this. The only way I know how by Stopping it with by hitting a button. Pow 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 p